Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the review. This time is the Mythic Legion's Avid of Decay, Snag. Now, Snag is your unusual Gablon, who's more a little bit smarter, a little bit sneakier. He's more like an assassin thief, in my opinion. And what's really cool about him is his armor kind of tells you that of a guy who he kind of lavishes in his riches a little. But more importantly, he's a collector of things. And I'll show you that by the items that he comes with, which is pretty dope. So we're going to get into that. Anyway, let's go. So the really nice head sculpt on him is uh, dope because he has this really long nose, which differs him from other goblins. The hat is obviously different, but I just love the look of it. So in comparison to the other goblins, he is different. And I like when you can show yourself to be a little different. I really like the, the feel of that and the look of that, which is really dope. So head-wise, articulation easily goes up. It tilts left and right. It rotates all the way around. No real issues here. I, it's pretty simple and to the point, just like the rest of the Mythic Legion stuff. So you get that. The sculpting on these are absolutely amazing. The detail on these are even better. Um, they use a similar body. These are pretty much the same body. But if you haven't seen mine or anyone else's review, we're going to go over that now. So you get forward crunch, which is pretty nice. You get backwards crunch. You can actually rotate side to side. The arms on mine are pretty stiff because like an idiot, I did not warm them up. But rotates all the way up. You can actually rotate it all the way around. They are single jointed, so they go back this far, as you can see here. There is forearm swivel, and there is on the wrist that actually folds in and rotates around. So you have all that for the upper body. As well as the leg, you have a, oh, sorry. You also have a lower crunch. Mine's actually pretty tight in there. I'm gonna have to warm that up later. But it does use the same body as the other one, so I can pretty much assure you there's some lower ab crunch. Uh, also, under the flap, you notice that the leg can go up pretty well. It actually can rotate back really well. There is a thigh swivel, which rotates out. The knees are, I believe they are single jointed, but they go back pretty far. You can see here. There's ankle pivot, which rotates, and it goes front and back. Anytime your Mythic Legion's joints are too tight, I recommend you use uh, either the hot water or the blow dryer technique. It's the best thing that's going to save you with this. Now, as far as detail goes, I really like the brown on this. I really wish I had got another stag because I really want to use this body to customize and make my own little thing on it. But this is really dope. I really like the look of his body and the feel of it. And it just, it works really well for the goblin thief slash assassin. Really has the great feel of it. The colors, the look, it's all done really well. Now, as far as accessories and what he comes with, you obviously get the belt that Mythic Legion actually includes with a lot of things. You can wrap that around the way so you can go over the shoulder, whichever one you prefer. You get two swords. You get one long sword. And you get one, uh, also still another long sword, but these are both one-handed blades. This one actually happened to be a little longer. Uh, these actually look like these items don't belong to him. And that's why I said he's like the thief assassin. So if anything, this uh, saw blade, which actually seems to be like a knife, seems to be more of the item for him for assassination techniques. It's really cool. It actually looks really, really cool. Um, so that's pretty dope. Then you get your obvious uh, uh, accessories that are staples. You get the attachments for the large and wings, uh, small and large, for the adapter ports. You get the weapon adapter port as well. So you get those. Then you get his short knife. Now this, obviously, I think this does belong to him, this short knife. This is probably one of those things he got off somebody, he keeps it as a memento. Who knows? The, the best thing about these... Uh, Mythic Legions that the add-ons of how crazy it is that you can do with them. Then you get two Shepherd shoulder pads. Uh, one, you can actually see that it looks like he took off someone, so he just adds it on. So while I can go over here, and you can add the silver one on the left side. Or you can just add it because it just looks cool on him. It doesn't really matter. Point is, it looks cool. Then if you have a previous helmet from him, from uh, let's say you have the Cavern Dwarves, or you have anything else, you actually get these cool uh, antler helmets, uh, antler piece attachments. So you can actually add these on as other attachments for other things, which is really cool. I like these. I don't think I have anybody around that I can add these to yet, but they will come in photos so I can show you guys. Then you get the one horn, which is pretty cool. It's a nice black horn. I've seen someone use a broken one, which is pretty cool. So if you want to add just one to show off, I think this is really dope to have. So all in all, Pretty simple. He's pretty to the point. Uh, but I do really like the look of Snag. 
and I like the little goblin army that I've started to make for myself. So I figured why not review him? Especially because if you play Fire Emblem, uh, it's pretty imperative you have a thief on your team to stop other thieves <laughs> um, from stealing all your loot. So that's pretty dope. In the meantime, no, let's get into the size comparison. Real quick, we're going to start with a uh, 1000 Toys Synthetic Human. So height-wise, here they go, right next to each other. Looks pretty good. Then uh, here they are next to a Kamen Rider 1 from SHF. So as you can see, size-wise, Mythic Legions, as far as the uh, goblins go, they're pretty small, but they scale really well with the imported stuff. Here he is next to Blade from Marvel Legends. So that's a custom head, by the way, for those of you on the axe. So yeah. Size-wise, they're pretty small because they're goblins, as they should be. Here they are next to a Mezco cap. Next up, we're going to compare to an Articulated Icons Ninja and a Figma Ruler. And last but not least, we're going to compare also to another Mythic Legions character, so that way you can see the kind of scale comparison we got going on. All in all, very nice, very straight to the point. Love the look and the design. Um, I kind of wish I had army built more of these, but it's my own fault for being late to the party. But I hope you guys enjoyed this nice and simple review. And I hope you guys go out and uh, back to Mythic Legion Cell, which go up, I believe, on the 26th. I got an email about it, so I'm going to try to get some as well. Make sure you check out the Store Horseman website. I'm going to try to put a link in the description since people don't use Google. <laughs> In the meantime, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. And most of all, hope you do good, be good, and drink your water. Later.